Francis, exiled for his role in the killing of security chief Hiram Reynolds. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. Such is the burden of leadership. Nevertheless, it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we've gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Ket. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. Sarah. <laughs> Little brother. Bring it here. Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad he did. Gave me time to let it sink in. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it and get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. Uh-huh. Then I guess I'll overlook your little embellishment. You told me we found home. I... Yeah, yeah, I know you meant well, but no more lies, okay? I'm a big girl. I can handle it. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. 
No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. <sighs> Better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Rix. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them. And their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. It was hard to tell with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. All those times I yelled at him growing up. You and me both. This is a better way to remember him. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Feeling homesick at all? 
Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit. Fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. Risk comes with the job, part of being a Pathfinder. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first, then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. <laughs> 